sessions, uh, we're going to have a poster presentation. Our speaker will be given a few minutes to share the document with us uh, on screen. Please, please feel free to ask questions once um, her review of the poster has concluded. Uh, so, pour conclure uh, ce panel et les sessions d'aujourd'hui, nous avons une présentation par affiche. Uh, notre oratrice aura quelques minutes pour partager le document avec nous sur l'écran. N'hésitez pas à poser des questions uh, une fois la courte présentation sera terminée. Uh, Dominique, c'est à vous, puis je vais partager mon écran. Um... Et merci Eliza. Bonsoir tout le monde. Dominique Antoine, étudiante au doctorat euh, au département de communication à l'université. Cela me fait plaisir de vous parler des résultats de ma recherche Communication Barriers and Challenges for Assessing Autism Care, Conventional versus Alternative Treatment. Bien, la prise en charge des enfants autistes se fait par le biais d'interventions conventionnelles et des traitements alternatifs au Canada. Toutefois, le courant alternatif fonctionne en dehors des normes et des règlements du système de santé. Donc, par le biais d'entretiens de, semi-structurés avec des parents, des prestataires de soins conventionnels et des praticiens alternatifs opérant à Ottawa, cette étude se concentre sur le flux de communication au sein du système pour déterminer comment la communication se fait entre toutes les parties impliquées dans la prise en charge des enfants autistes au cours de la première année de soins, afin d'identifier les défis et les obstacles potentiels à la communication. Les résultats ont révélé sept thèmes et trois sous-thèmes, présentant chacun des obstacles au flux de communication dans le cadre de la prise en charge des enfants autistes. Des cinq contextes examinés, organisationnel, interpersonnel, média, culturel et politico-légal, le contexte organisationnel représente l'influence la plus significative avec les contraintes d'horaire et les restrictions financières. Donc, en gros, c'est ça. Merci si vous avez des questions. I'm just going to stop sharing for a minute because I can't see you guys when I do that. Um, yeah, that's better. Um, does anybody have any uh, questions or uh, discussion pieces? I just have a question. Uh, Dominique, has this, you submitted this for publication, right? Yes. Have you heard anything yet? Well, I heard back from um, the, uh, the Journal of Autism um, Developmental Disorder. Um, they said that the scope of the study was, um, doesn't fit with their paper. There's not enough participants for them um, to publish it. So I've resubmitted um, to um, Sage Journal. Okay. So I haven't heard back yet. Perfect. No, it's exciting. But sorry, I've already seen, I've already read a lot of this, so I don't, I don't have too many questions. But, okay. but good job on getting it out there. I think that's really important. And it's a lot of work to get it from project to publication manuscript. But I, I think it's, it's really great that you've done it. I know. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep working on it. <laughs> Jen, you have a question? Uh, more of a comment as well. I'm sorry, Dominic, I don't have any questions uh, this okay. evening. Um, but I just, Eliza, I'm not sure if you've mentioned this um, yet today, uh, but the CGSA will be posting the posters on uh, on our website. And I'm looking forward to, to looking at your poster in more detail uh, and reading it um, kind of like on my own time. So I'll probably be emailing you in the near future with questions. Sounds good. If you have any questions, they will be welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. 
So was was your results of this study the catalyst that made you want to pursue the concept further? Um, yes. Well, I've, 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 I have a personal interest in autism um, research. So um, seeing the results from that study made me want to dig a little bit more definitely. So which is why um, right now um, with my doctoral research, um, we're really um, getting further into decision making, seeing you know, um, how it, it is for, for parents um, to make decisions when their child has been diagnosed with autism and what kind of support um, they get um, from um, the, the material that comes from, from the organizations um, in autism. So hopefully we can bring something that can help um, families um, better. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, were there any other questions before we finish up for uh, our last panel of Interfom? Scrolling through. Okay. Stop. Okay. Well, thank you. Good job, Eliza. Thank you for sharing that um, and, and all of our, our uh, presenters uh, today in, the, in this panel, uh, very diverse and, and interesting. Um, so this does conclude today's panels. We will have a short closing to formally end the conference, uh, followed by a well-deserved social hour, uh, which is open to everyone. So, um, on behalf of the Communication Graduate Student Association in my role as Vice President Academic of the 2020-2021 academic year, I would like to sincerely thank those who participated in our virtual conference yesterday and today. Uh, nous tenons à remercier uh, Dr. Uh, Sylvie Grosjean et Dr. Luc Bonneville pour avoir ouvert la conférence. Nous remercions Sylvie Albert du Haut Global avoir pris le temps de prononcer ce qui a été un discours d'ouverture inspirant et uh, perspicace. Uh, nous remercions tous les, nos présentateurs et présentatrices qui ont travaillé dur sur uh, nous livrer le contenu étonnant dont nous avons été témoins au cours de deux de journées. Personally, I would like to thank all of my CGSA, fellow CGSA team members for the tireless work that they do to keep our organization and all of the amazing event, events running as smoothly as they do. Thank you to our co-president, Jennifer Dumoulin, for all the balls she so masterfully juggles and the many hats that she wears. I would not have been able to put together such uh, an event such as this without her guidance, words of encouragement, and support. Enfin, je voudrais vous remercier, vous, notre public. Uh, nous ne serons pas ici sans votre soutien, no, vos questions et vos encouragements. Je vous remercie tout d'avoir participé à cette conférence très enrichissante, uh, bien qui est atypique uh, pour les étudiants. This has been a very challenging year, but as long as we continue to adapt, reframe our perspective, and stick together, we will be resilient against whatever comes next. Now, let the festivities begin. Before Eliza stops the recording, I want to take a second and thank Eliza for all of her very, very hard work uh, organizing this conference. She was very eager and keen to take on this responsibility, knowing that it was going to be virtual, knowing that it was going to be a challenge. And um, she has turned what's, what was relaunched last year as a half day conference into a massive two day affair with social events uh, in the evening and a brand new faculty uh, lecture series as well. Alors, félicitations à Lisa uh, pour ton, tout ton travail, tout ton effort, tout ton passion uh, pour ce projet. Merci beaucoup.